the 2nd of April 2008, former Army Captain Ed Stafford set out on a journey of more than 4,000 miles to travel the entire length of the Amazon River. Ed set off in April 2008 from Chaman on Peru's Pacific coast and the source of the Amazon River. After a three-week trek to the source of the Amazon, the 4,000-mile walk to the mouth of the river began. Through Peru and Brazil until he finally reached the mouth of the Amazon at a beach near Maruda. Along with malnutrition and injuries, Ed faced killer bees, scorpions and snakes. Mata fechada, pântano, milhares de formigas e mosquitos. <coughs> were forced to resort to eating piranha fish and bush meat to survive. See, the aim of the expedition is to, is to get people involved in the Amazon. They filmed as they went, capturing the challenge of cutting their way through dense jungle. You lived off piranha fish he caught rice and beans, and store-bought munitions found in local communities along the river. Also at one point got what's known as a bot fly in his head, and uh, that can be seen on his website, walkingtheamazon.com. There you can see oh. it being removed. O inglês atualizava o Twitter e abastecia um blog. With bows and arrows drawn, half of them were shotguns, and all the women had machetes. A pedido dele, nós vamos entrevistá-lo andando, porque ele não quer perder tempo We've been following this pair of adventures every day of the past week. I think um, we'd be very unlucky not to finish now. This afternoon, after 859 days of walking, they arrived at Journey's End, Maruda Beach, where the Amazon meets the sea. Journey has come to an end. 859 days and 6,000 miles after his Amazon adventure began. Ed, Joe, enxerga uma praia e corre. Everyone told me I was crazy when I was doing this. I've been told that I've, I was going to be killed so many times, I can't remember how many times. Um, but I'm not dead, I'm here now. And uh, yeah, anyone can achieve what they want to achieve if they work hard enough. He apparently encountered every danger from anaconda snakes to almost drowning. As well as highlighting deforestation and climate change issues, Ed's raised thousands of pounds for environmental and health charities. His aim to take the Amazon to the wider world through his own epic journey. Simon Newton, Sky News. Well, if you tuned into World One over the past two weeks, you know that we followed the end of British explorer Ed Stafford's Amazon expedition. Well, we're happy to report that Ed has arrived back in England for some much needed rest, relaxation, and a homecoming he is not likely to forget. Ed walked the entire length of the Amazon River some 6,500 kilometers over 27 grueling months to raise money for charities and awareness of the rainforest. British explorer Ed Stafford has finally returned home after becoming the first man to walk the length of the Amazon. I'm very pleased to say he joins me now from West London. Ed Stafford, uh, good to see you and looks like the, the bites have mainly healed up. I mean, what an amazing achievement. Was it all worthwhile? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the homecoming has just been absolutely overwhelming, really. Ed's uh, landed back at Heathrow to meet uh, all the waiting media there. Of course, lots of interest in his return, his family there too to greet him. Uh, and he's with his mother, Barbara, at Heathrow now. I'm delighted to say we can talk to them. Ed, welcome home. What's it like to be back? Thank you very much, Hugh. Um, it's fantastic. Slightly overwhelming, I have to say. I mean, uh, I never thought this expedition would get such recognition, but... Um, yeah, I'm quite proud, I have to say. Ed Stafford, the man who, with his Peruvian guide tour, has just become the first man to walk the entire length of the Amazon. At the Atlantic, for the first time. That is incredible, incredible. The man himself is here, fresh from his 5,000-mile journey, Ed Stafford. And we're just delighted to see you all in one piece. Yeah, and thank an you very much. An incredible, epic adventure. Ed Stafford, who's with us now. Ed's an explorer, um, a dying breed. Indeed, I think it's fair to say, Ed, you could have died with, uh, <laughs> with what you were trying to be. Nice Congratulations, to see you, Ed. Ed. Thank you very well much. Done. Indeed. Cheers. Ed Stafford.